Say yes. You don't have to get depressed because you're living in a depression. You don't have to walk off your job because others are being laid off. In fact, this is not a good time to get smart ethically with your boss. It's not a good time to put your finger in your supervisor's face with layoffs and hiring freezes. It's not a good time to go and talk in on a Monday morning and say, I don't have to take this kind of abuse, and you don't have any other less abusive place to get a paycheck. Tell your neighbor, you better recognize, you better recognize. Don't. Got to watch out for that mood. I'm demanding a raise. I'm demanding a... You, you can say that. Just be sure you have considered your backup plan because now they are waiting for someone to be relieved by attrition, which means when I fire you, nobody's going to be rehired for you, including you. Uh, Check that mood. Check the mood. Check the mood. Television's not working right. It's not going to help you by beat, taking a baseball bat and beating the TV down. You're out of control, man. Just, just, just because you've got $50 left on your credit card, that doesn't mean to try to buy something for $100. You're out of control. Check your mood. Do I have a witness here? Because you're on a consecration and you can't eat meat the rest of the week, that doesn't mean fill yourself with chitlins today because it's got to last you until next Sunday. You're out of control. Because you and your husband can't get along or you and your wife can't get along, don't beat the baby within an inch of his life. Not the baby's fault. Get off of me. Get on off of me. You're just out of control and because the teacher gave you an F on your grade card that you earned don't get an attitude with your mama when she said if you study you would have that you out of control check your mood out ask somebody near you that you know really cares about you am I doing all right ask somebody that you know really has no hidden agenda. Have, have I been helpful to you lately? Get off of me. Ask somebody. Don't just trust the man in the mirror. Don't just do the mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the least moody of them all? When sometimes you act like a sanctified almond joy Christian, sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't ask somebody that carries you, do you think I need some help? Jesus said, I know I'm all right, but let me show you how you do it. Who do men say, I'm all in the Bible. You know I'm in the Bible. I don't get my notes from Dr. Phil or Oprah. Jesus said, who? Do men say, I, I'm not asking the multitude, I'm just asking the disciples, my inside crew, my family of confidants, who do men say that I am? In other words, do they have the impression that my life is out of control? Because one day I had to cleanse the temple and I had to turn over tables. I had to drive out the money changers. I had to let the zeal of my father's house consume me. But do I come across as angry all the time? And they said, no, they think you're a prophet. But who do you say that I am? Tell somebody near you, you got a nice mood today. Let it last. You got to watch out for that spirit. I hope when I go to church today, they won't sing one of those loud songs. It's going to get noisy. Because the book said, make a joyful. Check your mood out. You got to be careful you don't say, when I go to church today, I hope they don't sing nothing slow. I came for a picker upper. No, we're going to have something slow. Because the book said, be still and know. That I am God. 
So don't come in here, Lord have mercy, with the devil robbing you saying, I hope that the preacher doesn't preach it long, Lord have mercy, as he did two weeks ago. Because every now, Lord have mercy, don't push me yet, don't push me yet, every now and then, you've got to say, we are here to hear the word of the Lord. Every now and then, I don't want to get happy, I don't want to get, I don't want to get happy. You hear the Lord saying, can these bones live? And Ezekiel will have to say, you know. And the Lord will say, speak to these bones and tell them, hear ye the word of the Lord. Say yeah. I don't want you to come in here all the time saying, I hope I see the first lady dance today. Because it's not time for you to watch somebody else rejoice. Come on out of your spectator sports event mood and say I came today to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and I don't know if you hear me say I hear you pastor I don't know what you came to do but I came to praise the Lord I came to clap my hands. I came to shout for joy. I came to lift him up. I came to kneel in prayer. And I don't know what you came to do, but I want to believe it and say, I came to praise his name. Yes, yes. And then number two, to help get your life under control, you got to hook up with the word house. Somebody say the word house. One brother said, every time I show up at Mount Nebo, they want to know what I learned when I went to college. Because I graduated from Morehouse. And so all I do is tell them what I heard at Morehouse. And another brother said, what they always want me to tell them is about my time in government. And I tell them what I learned in the White House. But the other day, there was trouble in our city. Tragedy had stirred our homes. When I came to talk to God's children, somebody said, we want to hear you, brother. And I told them I can tell you what I heard at Morehouse. And they said, that's not good enough. And I said, well, let me tell you what I learned in the White House. And they said, that's not good enough. And so I said, let me tell you what you really need. Let me tell you what I learned in heaven's house. What you need when your life is out of control is to tell the Lord. Am I getting, am I getting happy? I'm getting happy. Thy word is a lamp under my feet. I'm about to lose it, but thy word, oh Lord, is a light under my pathway. Thy word will cut me when I have a spiritual disease. Thy word will sew me up and heal me when my heart is broken. Thy word, can I have a witness here, will bring me down when I get too high. And the word of God will bring me up if I fall too low, yes, the word of God, where my Hebrews 4 and 11 is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts 
and intense of the heart we need. If I'm getting too happy, just look over me. But I'm, I'm about to get my life under control. We need to hear a word from the Lord. We need a word from the Lord. If we don't get a word from the Lord, we'll stay out of control. Say it. Say it.